the Lord Jesus greatly protects his representatives on earth. How closely he is united with them. And he orders me to give priority to their opinion over his. I have come to know the great intimacy which is, exists between Jesus and the priest. Jesus defends whatever the priest says and often complies with his wishes and sometimes makes his own relationship with a soul depend on the priest's advice. O oh, Jesus, through a special grace, I have come to know very clearly to what extent you have shared your power and mystery with them, more so than the angels. I rejoice in this, for it is all for my good. Diary 1240. November 24th, 1935. Sunday, first day. I went at once before the Blessed Sacrament and offered myself to Jesus, present in the most holy sacrament to the everlasting Father. Then I heard these words in my soul. Your purpose and that of your companions is to unite yourself with me as closely as possible. Through love you have reconciled earth with heaven. You will soften the just anger of God, and you will plead for mercy for the world. I place in your care two pearls very precious to my heart. These are the souls of priest and religious. You will pray particularly for them. Their power will come from your diminishment. You will join prayers, fasting, mortifications, labors, and sufferings and then they will have power before my Father. Diary 531. The Lord said to me, My daughter, do not tire proclaiming my mercy. In this way you will refresh this heart of mine, which burns with flames of pity for sinners. Tell my priest and that hardened sinners will repent on hearing these words when they speak about my unfathomable mercy, about the companion I have for them, compassion I have for them in my heart. To priests who proclaim and extol my mercy, I will give wondrous power. I will anoint their words and touch their hearts of those to whom they will speak. Diary. 1521. O oh Jesus, give us fervent and holy priests. Oh, how great is the dignity of a priest. But at the same time, how great is his responsibility. Much has been given to you, O oh priest, but much will also be demanded of you. Diary 9. Four, Oh, my Jesus, I beg you, on behalf of the whole church, grant it love and the light of your spirit, and give power to the words of priests, so that hardened hearts might be brought to repentance and return to you, O oh Lord. Lord, give us holy priests. You yourself maintain them in holiness. O oh, divine and great high priest, May the power of your mercy accompany them everywhere and protect them from the devil's traps and snares which are continually being set for the souls of priests. May the power of your mercy, O Lord, shatter and bring to naught 
all that might tarnish the sanctity of priests, for you can do all things. Diary 1051. Merciful Lord, you told St. Faustina in a revelation 
that we are to show mercy to our neighbors always and everywhere. And we must not shrink away from it or try to excuse or absolve ourselves from it. You gave us three degrees in order to exercise this mercy. The first by deed, the second by word, and the third by prayer. Most merciful Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament of the altar. We humbly come before the throne of mercy and bring before your merciful heart the souls of the sick and those that are dying in this hour. May they escape the fires of hell, for they are in most need of your mercy during this most crucial time. Eternal Father, we offer you the Divine Mercy Chaplet as an act of spiritual mercy for these souls and for the good intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for Father Murphy, whom you have chosen to lead our parish according to your divine purpose. Keep him holy and keep him safe for eternal life. Father God, we continue to pray for the conversion of Russia and for Ukraine and its people. And we ask for an end to the Russian aggression on that country and an end to war. We pray for those souls and those on our own border. We appeal to your merciful heart and ask that you bring peace to those poor countries and to the world, peace that only you can bring. And we thank you, God, of fathomless mercy for allowing us to give relief and help to the sick and the dying by means of this chaplet and for the personal intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. St. Faustina, pray with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Divine Mercy Chaplet. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood. So Son, our Lord 
sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, God holy, holy mighty one, one, holy immortal one, one have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, one holy immortal one, one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible. Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Amen.
Jesus, I trust in you. 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 Jesus, I trust in you.
the divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ through God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy, blessed be a holy and immaculate conception, blessed be her glorious assumption, Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph and most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen.